Okay. Well, guys, I had to turn the old video off and start another one. So I'm hoping I'm going to have to learn to edit. Or this is going to be a part two. It'll be a part two. So haul video, garage sale, Salvation Army part two. So, okay, where we left off, did the little green, cute little green voodoo doll. And then, for a time, I love these little cookbooks. You know these little church cookbooks and, and stuff like that where everybody donates a recipe to put inside? So, I got one, not by bread alone. And this is a 1981 version. And this is a 1991 version, but I really like a lot of these recipes because mostly they're from scratch because they're older. And then I got, I thought this was really cute. It just says uh, musical cookery, but I really like these cookbooks. So I picked up four of those. They were like a dime or a quarter. I want to say dime, but either way, cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay. Now, this is the good part. Everything else that I'm going to show you guys from this garage sale was free. It was in the free box. Free, free, free. Nice stuff in the free box, right? Boom, boom. Detroit Red Wings. No stains, nothing on it. Um, it's supposed to look like it's, uh, you know, not damaged, but you know what I'm talking about. Except the fact that it's really, really wrinkly, but I have to wash it because I try and wash everything. That was free. And everything's been sitting in the bags or in the box since Saturday. Got this really nice Liz Sport, size large, 100% cotton, long sleeve button up, really nice, it's just wrinkled, free, and then I will say to you, and then I say to you, okay, don't freak out. Two VHS tapes sealed, new in package, sealed. You know, that's good. So I got all of these books and I got CDs. Everything in this box, guys. Oh, free. Free. Ah! That's why I took the tapes out. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So those were free. <laughs> okay. Another garage sale. <clears throat> um, a different garage sale. I picked up. It's the day for recipes and recipe cards because I picked up, remember these from the 70s and 80s? A whole box of these for $2, mostly so that I can go through them. Um, I don't know, honestly, what comps would be on something like this because of the weight, although I could send it maybe medium mail but I'm not sure about that because it's recipe cards, but I'd have to check. But those are really cool. And then I got another box of recipe cards. Oh, and this is the Buddy Cracker Recipe Card Library Index. So, that's kind of neat to tell you if you're missing any. But, yeah, how neat. I just love these little things. 
where they show, oops, that's an index card. They show, you know, the picture and then the recipe. I just love these. I used to, back in the day, who knows, these could be mine. I used to collect these. You can order them through the mail or get like a recipe of the week or recipe of the month or recipe packet. But um, how neat. I love this stuff. Like I said, I don't know what comps are on it or anything like that. I, I really wasn't concerned about that. Um, it was $2 on this. I just wanted them. I wanted them for myself. And then, you know, when I'm done, um, if I want to sell them, if it's worth selling, I can run my scanner over the top of them. I have a handheld scanner that um, it's a wand. You just run it down and it copies. I can do that. And then I, I came across a, a box of sewing notions. And if you know Mama, you know that I can, I can sew, but I can mend really, really well or alter really, really well. Um, and so I can always use sewing notions. But um, I'll show you that in just a second. But I got this was in the, the free box at that one garage sale. Cute little picture. This I'm going to give to my mom because she has some large photos that are very much like that. And in this box of sewing notions, there's a whole lot of stuff, you guys. But anyway, an entire box. There is metal thimbles. And this is vintage stuff, okay? Um, like, look at this, okay? This is... Bondex mending and decorating for anything you can iron. So you iron this onto clothing to mend it. Okay, but look at the tag. 12 cents. Do you guys see that? 12 cents. Well, you look at the retail value, it was 15 cents. But look at the advertising on that. Is that not adorable? I mean, just for its vintage properties, it's adorable. But that was in there. And then these really old iron-on patches. I mean, just, just 29 cents. I mean, old, old stuff. Um, I don't know how old these are, but I, I got probably 10 packets of the self threading needles which I'm blind now. Can't do anything without reading glasses. I actually can't even thread these without reading glasses. But I mean, I'm always buying needles. You know, always buying needles. Some more of these, you know, crafting type of needles. Oh, some, you know, intricate hook and eye things. That's more for sewing. But I mean, if you're mending or you've got a dress or something, an older vintage dress that has those, and uh, or one like it that you need to replace look there you go and I got the snap closures the fronts and the backs vintage for free I mean for free you know actual metal thimbles little tiny little seam rippers like this is what comes it's actually it's either broken or it's really short but this is actually what would come in like a a basic um, sewing machine starter kit. It'd come with like a machine that you would you would buy. This is for tracing patterns. And then this is for brushing it off when you're done. How cute. I mean, that's just one of the boxes. And I got an entire like 12 by, I don't know, 16, 18 box full of stuff like that. Here's, I mean, this is full of sewing notions and, and pencils and these hot iron transfer patterns. I have a ton of these and these appear to be vintage. I haven't done a lot of research on them, but um, well, these say $1.69, so I don't think that you can buy these for $1.69 anymore, but a lot of really cute, cute ones. There's University of Michigan. We like Michigan State in this house. Ohio Buckeyes. 
So neat stuff. And some, some rulers and a bunch of scissors. And some crochet hooks, things like that. And this is actually more sewing notions I'm not going to show you. But this is the box the sewing notions came in. All kinds of sewing notions in this box. I'm not going to show them all to you, though. And then, it actually, this is more of the free stuff from that free garage sale. And this is, look at this, okay? This was in the, um, the free box. You're not going to believe this. It's apartment nine. But look what this sweater, pretty sweater, look what this sweater is made of. Do you see that? 100% cashmere. There's no holes. There's nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's so soft. And I got it for free. Go figure. <clears throat> this is just a dress. Cupid's Diary. I don't know anything about it. It was in the free box. Cute little shirt vest. Or, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, shirt dress. And this is from Tool or Tule. T-U-L-L-E. It's a coat. It's quite bally. I believe it's wool. But, because I'm quite allergic to wool. And I, I don't have a good reaction to this. But, if you see the buttons on this, I... I took it, it was free, but I took it because look at the buttons. Okay, here's my finger. So you can see how big these buttons are. And there's a lot of buttons on there. There's buttons, it's double breasted. So, I mean, you get those buttons on every side and then there's buttons on the cuff. There's, you know, two buttons on the cuff and then you've got two buttons on the back. And I don't know, I have to do some research on this before I tear the buttons off just to make sure that it's not... It's not, you know, maybe something valuable. And then Mama found a pair of pants in her size I can wear to work. They're just, they're Sag Harbor, but they were free. Except, they have this on the side. And I don't know what that is. P6OX. I don't know if they added it or it came on the pants. But, Mama doesn't need that on pants to wear to work. I'm going to see if I can't get it off. But I like the pants for work. All right. That was just a cute little winter hat. I didn't pay for it. <clears throat> and then these cute little, little hair notions that you just, you know, remember those snap bracelets that, well, oh, those snap bracelets. There you go. That will just snap around your your wrist. Well, that's kind of what the, the, this is. It's supposed to go around your hair. And it's blonde, of course. You see, it's blonde. So, it's not going to work in Mama's hair. But I thought my granddaughter might have fun with that. Or my daughter might have fun um, putting it in my granddaughter's hair. Or who knows, maybe Mama can use it in her hair and you'd never see it. I don't know, or maybe I'll sell them. But, I, you know, I paid 75 cents a piece for these just because I thought they were fun. And I got this beer glass for a quarter. And I have not, you know, Googled this or, or searched it. Oh, you see me through the glass? Hi. Woo. This is too much fun. Hello. Um, but I thought, you know, I might just keep this for when Mama has a beer. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure that's a German beer. But um, at that same garage sale, I'll show you really quick. I got... These really neat empty bottles that German beer used to be in. Oh, I got this. This, I think, was a dollar. And it's like, you turn it, sorry for the noise, and it gives you the ingredients that you need to make for, you know, that specific drink. I don't do mixed drinks, um, but I thought, you know what, if I wanted to or... You know, something I could. So, I've always wanted one of those. But it's one of those things you'd never buy for yourself. 
probably put these in bubble wrap. But these neat bottles with the ceramic, okay, um, lids, right? And they're still, you can see this one, not this one doesn't have it, but some of them still have the beer in it. Um, but when they were in Germany, they brought these back. Um, but how cool, There's, they've got like the writing, if you can see it on there, right there. Um, but they're really cool, you guys. Really, really cool. And I got like five or six of these. And I don't know what they're worth. <laughs> she wrapped them all in tissue paper for Mama. See, this one's got some beer in it. Um, that's got the name of it. Ooh. But yeah, cool. I mean, these are just cool bottles. I don't know that they have really any resale value to them, but... Um, so I've got five of those. I didn't do any research. I mean, she wanted like a quarter a piece for them. So, I mean, hello. You know, so I just bought them. I wasn't even concerned about it. I just bought them. But these for a dollar, I thought these were really cute. Um, if I didn't want to keep them and use them, you know, they're always used for decorative purposes. Two for a dollar. Um, I could always sell both of them together. Those were cute. And then I bought, I bought this. This was a quarter. It says 50 cents, but they told me a quarter because I was getting so many things. Um, it's really cute New York cup, but it's, I don't know if you can tell it's, it sticks out. I don't know what the proper term is for it, but it is embossed, I guess you would say, where it sticks out from the cup. I'm not sure what that's called, but um, a really nice high quality um, mug. It's upside down, and now it's backwards. But um, America Wear. 2007, made in Thailand, microwave and dishwasher safe. But, you know, I just thought that, you know, that was cute. This I bought for myself. This was just a quarter, too. But isn't that a cute coffee cup? And then I forgot to wash it and take it to work today. So, I like that. That's just for Mama. Oh, you guys. Okay. I have to look this up and research this. But for you video game well, if any of the video gamers follow me, I don't know that they would, but um, this is not the video game one, but it's just a cute Pop-Tart. They they wanted $3 for this, but I gave them a dollar. I offered them a dollar. I got these two things at the garage sale. Just a cute little hoodie. She is a, they had two pit bulls that they had rescued, and they, oh, they were so beautiful, and they were so wonderful. And I laid in the driveway, and the pit bulls laid on top of me and gave me kisses. I just loved it. Um, but it's got really nice Pop-Tart advertising on the back. She's an advertising rep that she works from home. And the company that she works for is in China or Thailand or, um, it was, it's in, they're in an Asian country. I'm not sure, but, um, this was a marketing sweatshirt when she did an, um, a marketing ad for Pop-Tarts. So this is, the, at least that's what she said that she got it from. Um, so, you know, I don't even know if you can get this anywhere, but, you know, I, I'm going to have to do some research. But there's no tag or anything in it, so, I mean, you know, there's no size tag or anything like that. So, it leads me to believe she's telling the truth. And this is what I was really excited about. Um, and I only paid a dollar for this. Her husband works... From home for an overseas video game company and this is to size large it's a video game mm -hmm. um, called Han H-O-N I guess it's a really popular video game but this is a zip up hoodie right see the graphics and then this is something special. This is kind of like a, a card key in. This 
sweatshirt, this hoodie was meant to be worn uh, primarily um, and actually strictly worn by the players. This is a professional players, video game players hoodie. And this tells you that you're a player. This on the pad on the sleeve tells you that you're a player. And then Heroes, I guess this was the game that they were playing or something. I'm not video game savvy, so Heroes of New Earth, I guess was the game. And then the back of it has all of this really neat graphics. And only players can wear this or employees. But yeah. So, they said this was a real find. So, I've got to do some research on this. I don't know what the comps are going to be on this because this is so rare and because this is a um, players only zip up. Um, but he got this from one of the players. So, um, I have to do the comps on that, but that is really exciting. So, I forgot all about that, you guys. And, oh, here's more from that free box. A Xbox 360 Connects game. Oh, Deca Sports Freedom. I'm not sure I have this one because Mama's got the Xbox 360 Connects so that I can get up and move and, you know, play video games that require me to move so that, um, I can stay more active and play with a granddaughter and, um, you know, because with my health ailments and whatnot, it will hopefully allow me to have fun and still be active and get exercise and stuff like that. But the disc is in great shape, but yeah, this was in the free box, so I took it. Why not? This was in the free box and it's battery operated. Oh, did you see that guys? it the battery compartment is not closed but ah it works but i wanted to just paint this this is just a cute little metal lantern um you know whether i'll sell it or not probably because i really don't you know have use for it but i mean it's it's little beat up dinged up could use a little touch up but i mean not you know not too bad but um that was free. Why not? You know, it's free. I'm going to put this on the floor because Mama's clumsy. Like you don't know that already. 22 minutes and on the second on the part two. Okay. This was in the free again. This is adjust my size. Really nice zip up jacket. No flaws. No nothing. This was in that same free box. And this is a 3840. I don't know what size that it equates to. Oh, right there, 1820. Yeah, because I tried to put it on and it was a little too small for me. So, but 1820, it was free. Okay, this I think is the last thing that was in that box. <laughs> Michigan shorts and the pockets are inside out. But, you know, cute pair of uh, men's. No, these can't be men. These are extra large. You know what? Maybe these are vintage. This does have a really old tag in it. These might be from the 80s, y'all. Remember in the 80s when shorts were really short? My husband used to wear those really, really short shorts. Back when he used to lift weights. He was a... I say he was a bodybuilder, but he wasn't, he didn't compete or anything, but, you know, he walked around and his arms stuck out. You know how they used to do, like, you know, they'd walk and their arms couldn't go down to their body because their muscles were so big. Mus bodybuilder, guys, what is this right here? Well, this is fat on my own, but you know how your muscles go down right here and your arms have to go out to the side? Um, oh, I forgot to tell you something. Oh. That's Mama's bodybuilding show for you. <laughs> anyway, sorry. It happens. So I'm thinking these are vintage, you guys. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm going to have to do some research. So I do think because the waist on these, these are a men's extra large. <clears throat> anyway, Mr. Haggard. My hubby, he was sexy. <sighs> he used to wear those little tank tops where you, they're all cut down to the waist. Well, not quite to the waist, but you can see the side and see all their muscle. And then he had those little short shorts. And, you know, the little short shorts are only about like this short. Well, quite like this. No, these are long compared to those shorts. But my honey was looking fine. But then mama was a little small Coke bottle piece of work myself back then, 30 years ago. <laughs> oh, sorry, thinking about the old days. Um, just wrapping paper was in the free box. An armrest. I think you put ice in this. I'm not sure. Water or something. Notepad. Um. Oh, this is just a couple bags. In the free box. A book and then I got something really cool I did pay a couple dollars for this and this is only part of it but I got one of these looms for yarn but it has all of the parts and all of the pieces and it's got the the um the paper still with it it's got the you know directions and everything starter yarn kit for coaster loom or hot dish pad loom so that's nice. And then it's got the, the little book and everything. Lap weaving and country crafts. So I just thought that was really cool, you know? It's still got all the original everything. Set your hands free with the helping hand loom strap. You will love it. So anyway, it's all there. I don't know what the resale value is on that. Um, I haven't looked up the comps because everything was so stinking cheap, you guys. Everything was so cheap. Okay, one more garage sale. And then you guys saw the um, the lawnmower, right? The push lawnmower I had done on Instagram. That um, it cuts. I'm getting a little warm. It cuts, um, cut your grass with the blades. You know, it spins and cuts your grass. I got for $15. I spent like $40 all day Saturday. And 15 of it was the um, lawnmower. So I got really good deals. I got this for a buck. Little Hershey's. This is from the Hershey's factory in Chicago. Um, it says Hershey Chicago, but this is in great shape. It's still got the lid. Um, need to wash the lid, but it apparently had chocolates in it when they got it. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's one online right now without the lids, you know, for $10. You know, I think I may just keep this, but um, really cute. And then these were free from... Not the last garage sale, but from the garage sale, I got the lawnmower. Um, I ran out of ones, and so these he was going to give me these two for a dollar. And I did not um, have the dollar, and he just gave them to me anyway, because they were just trying to get rid of everything. I only had like $19. This was the garage sale that I was buying the lawnmower. Um, and that was 15 so I only had four ones and I didn't want to break a break a five or anything like that so um he just gave it to me I told him he could keep it <clears throat> oh guys 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 this <laughs> tons of sewing notions down there um this, the same guy gave me this a free gift with every purchase. And he gave me this. There's, you know, nothing on it. I don't even know what this is. 
I don't even know what this is. There's like something in there. See it? I don't know what that, is that potpourri? Oh, it was flowers. It was little dried flowers. Well, I bet it was supposed to be decorative and now mama broke it. Or they probably put them in there. Little dried flowers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, if anything. <coughs> but the garage sale that I went to, <coughs> excuse me, that I got the free box full of stuff and I got the, the bamboo curtain. I picked up mm, two Polaroid One cameras. They wanted a dollar each. And I, I said, would you take a dollar for both? And they said, yes. And, you know, they said that they worked. They had another one there that had film with it. And they were playing with it and taking pictures. And it was with these two. So if that one worked, then... You know, probably the you know these ones are going to too, but um, they flip up and you can look through them. Everything's great. The light comes on and flashes. See that? Um, they need to be cleaned up, but I just thought, shoot, you know, for fifty cents, I'm gonna get it. No problem. Now this one, the light doesn't flash, but that's just most likely the batteries so but I thought shoot yeah we're gonna get it two for a buck we're getting them all right and then my great big box of sewing notions guys oh I have one more thing this is the only thing I bought from this garage sale it is a cute felt hat needs to be steamed of course but you know how cute is this little hat right you think oh this is so cute there was a whole bunch of really cheap hats that weren't really worth anything and this was in on the bottom of them and then I'm turning it around and I'm thinking mm-hmm Kangle Kangle it's a Kangle hat and it was obviously worn because where it says, you know, like Kangle on the inside and whatnot, that is all worn off. But you can clearly see the Kangle here. I haven't checked comps on this yet, but um, I will check comps on this and let you guys know. But it says it's an extra large. If it's an extra large, it should fit Mama's head. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. If you don't know by now, Mama's got a big head. Comes off. And I probably shouldn't be putting a hat on before it's steamed and disinfected. But oh well. It was a nice family, clean family. So I'm not going to worry about it. But beautiful hat. It will be beautiful when I'm done with it. But I learned from... Rally Roots, Ryan and Allie, that always pick up a Kangle hat. And this was 75 cents. 75 cents! 75 cents! So, I had to get it. And you guys, that is it for my garage sales. That's it. So, alright. This was part two. I'm sorry it was so long, you guys. I love you. I just felt the need to show you every little thing. If I was going to show you every little thing, look. This, the other box was not my Sewing Notions box. This is my Sewing Notions box. But see all that stuff? And it's all vintage. Oh my gosh, you guys. I haven't even gone through this and looked at it yet. Look at these fashion trims. 49 cents. Still sealed in the package. Never even opened. There's tons of stuff in here like that, you guys. Look at this little uh, pin cushion. How cute is that? I haven't even gone through this yet, you guys. But look at 
I mean, all kinds of it. I got the entire box for three dollars, and everything that was in that that first box I showed you was worth so much more than three. Was worth so much more than three dollars. Now I already have one of these, but you know, I guess I could always use another one. But all right, guys, I'm not going to show you all this stuff. You guys, this is vintage. Somebody did this, and it's vintage. Oh, my gosh. I have to go and look through this. Look at this. I have to do some research. I, I've got to look at some YouTubers that do vintage needlepoint. Or deal with vintage needlepoint. I just, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, look. I love you. Mama loves you. I, thank you for stopping and watching my video. I get so excited. I just feel like I got to share it with you guys. Okay. So. I have like almost 100 subscribers on YouTube. Ooh, Mama's getting papala. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. Um. But thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me and comes and stays and watches and laughs and wonders how I make it through a day. I don't know myself sometimes, but thanks, you guys. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Give me a thumbs up, if you will. And if you didn't like the video and you were bored, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope you do. You'll see more crazy, crazy Kelly, crazy mama, and everything that I do. But I will be filming a Goodwill haul, um, and then a Bins haul, and I hope you come back for that. All right, you guys. I will catch you later. Love you. Mwah!